Okay, in this session I'm going to explain how to install DAC Express on an iPad. In this case this happens to be an iPad mini. Um, basically it needs to be running iOS 13 or higher on the operating system. Um, first thing you need to do is go to the App Store. You'll find this icon somewhere on the device. Clicking on it opens up the App Store. Clicking on the search tab below will allow you to search for a particular app. In this case, we're going to search for something called DEA for DAC Express Apple. Then you need to throw in the dash, and then it should show up in this list here. This DEA DAC Express is what we want. So we'll tap on that, and we'll see that um, if we've already downloaded it before, it's going to be in our cloud, and we'll see this little cloud icon. If we have not, it's going to say purchase or buy. We just click on it to buy it. I think it's $4.99 uh, per Apple ID, and you can, I think, install up to five different devices um, for one Apple ID. Once it's downloaded, you can actually click the open button to take you to the DAC Express screen. I'm actually in dark mode, so your screen may be a little bit different here. Um, but first time installs, you will need to set up your account. You'll do that on the settings tab. And under, you can see it's automatically set up here for like an example, uh, I guess, test account. Um, but you will have to go to the authorization to use it with your own data. So when going to the authorization screen, um, you'll follow the instruction that, that the distributor um, or CDR sent. Basically, it'll have your account password, uh, your account, your account password. Um, your particular sales rep or customer number and the device code that was set up on the host server. Um, so if you have all this information you'll be ready to authorize your account. So the first thing you need to do is tap the edit button till it turns green and then enter the admin password as given to you by uh, the distributor or CDR. Hit the return on the, the Apple keyboard that's the only way to make these boxes become available. Um, okay, so once they are available, notice that the admin box goes away. And now you're able to enter your eight uh, seven-digit account number. Again, all accounts start with the 888 and uh, you know have four digits after that. So I'm going to leave that one the same as this is a test. I'm going to enter my password in. And finally, I'm going to enter my sales rep number. So this is a sales rep install. Um, if it was a customer install, I'd actually select the customer button and enter the six-digit customer number. Um, a corporate account is really a, a customer account as well. It just has several customers assigned to it. So either case, whether you're doing corporate or customer, you'll just select which one it is and hit the um, and hit this number button to type in the actual six digit number. Like I said, in this case, it's a sales rep. I'm leaving it at sales rep 10 and leaving the device code as A. Once I do that, uh, I can determine which system uh, or host I'm connecting to. Um, a DAC server would be a DAC customer, and SupplyLogic would be obviously a SupplyLogic customer. We don't ever rarely use uh, the other option. So it'll be one of these two. In this case, I'm leaving it as DAC and the only other thing that you might need to change is internal, external, but in most cases you'll leave it as ex external. Um, but sometimes if you're inside the warehouse, uh, external doesn't work, so you'll need to turn internal. But you may find problems um, with the internal connection, so you may have to get uh, CDR involved if you plan to use internal connection. Um, in most cases, it'll be a passive connection, so we'll just start off by clicking passive. And again, the instructions sent. Uh, the instructions will basically define how all this is supposed to be set up. This is kind of the basic setup. So we're going to go ahead and hit the connect button once we have everything ready to go. Settings saved. And then we're going to listen for any kind of errors. Host settings loaded. Host, Connected to host. Host settings loaded. Devices active. Devices Custom active. settings applied. Custom settings applied. Now notice. Once authorization is done, device settings loaded. Completed host check. You'll see that 
cleaning up and completed hose check and the screen will disappear. That means that you're basically authorized uh, from this device now. You'll notice the distributor name will be whatever your distributor name is and, um, and you'll have some basic information about the account settings. Um, you can always click on advanced settings if you need to be a little more um, hands-on with whatever. Uh, set these different settings. You can always get, go to the advanced settings tab. And then the account settings will actually show you what you're authorized to do from this device. In this case, we're allowed to send in label batches. Uh, let's see. Pre-book orders. We can send in pre-book orders. Oh, and we can also send in credit requests. So this is all information, all functionality that's turned on from the DAC server or Supply Logic server. Um, and that's just really informational purposes. The authorization sets all that up for you. So the next step would be to update all files. Okay, clicking update all files, and this is something you should do every day before you go out and create any sales orders. You'll click update all files and then download all. Account authorized. And you'll just Connection listen successful. for any kind of errors and make sure it happens. Device active. Customers downloaded. Customers loaded. Scans downloaded. Scans loaded. Items downloaded. Items loaded. Classes downloaded. Classes loaded. Prices downloaded. Prices loaded. Hot lists downloaded. Hot lists loaded. Customer history downloaded. Customer history loaded. Deleting excluded categories. Alternate prices downloaded. Problem deleting all price file. Alternate prices loaded. Alternate customer history downloaded. Alternate customer history loaded. Cleaning up. Okay, cleaning up will be the last step. Also, the download button will become available when it's done. Okay, so depending on the size of your data, this may take a while and uh, a lot of times if you do have problems or interruptions um, while it's downloading, you may experience problems. Um, so it's always a good idea to make sure that your iPad doesn't sleep at the two minute mark, maybe set it for the five minute mark um, in order to make sure that it can completely download all the files. Uh, once it's done, you can hit the exit button over here and um, you can review the log file just to see what's going on right here. So in this case you can see that we have 40 customers, 425 scans which are UPC codes, 194 items, 82 classes which are the category, sales classes, product classes, etc. 39, 33 pricing, so that's customer item pricing, this is customer specific pricing, and then finally we have hot list data and then the order sheet data which is 13 week customer history. And basically the order sheets is going to say the last customer number that it had an order sheet for. So in most cases, this is your last customer number. Um, so anyway, after all this is done, you'll be able to go to the orders tab and you'll be able to review any orders that you have outstanding that you have not sent in. And then you'll be able to hit the new button to create a new, new order. Um, also, you can update logo from server if you have a logo um, that you want to be displayed right here. Um, that's pretty much how to install and start using DAC Express for Apple. If you do have any questions, don't hate to hesitate to uh, email us at support at cdrsoftware.com. Thank you.